Good morning guys. So today is usually the day that I go grocery shopping so I can post my grocery hauls on Fridays. But it's raining. Can you hear the rain? <laughs> I'm waiting for Adam to get home. I need to take a shower. So ignore this. But it is pitch black outside. It's storming like crazy and I'm not about to drive to town in this or try to get my groceries in the car in the pouring rain. I don't even know if you can hear me because the dogs hate the thunder. So I guess today might be more of a day in the life type video. We'll try to figure out something to do. Who knows, but you're welcome to come along with us. I don't think mom's going grocery shopping today. What do you think? <laughs> what do you want to do? Yes, we know it's raining. We know. We know. We know. Stop. So on this day, the boys had slept in a little bit late, and so they had a late breakfast. So I'm having an early lunch. I'm just throwing some ramen noodles into a little bit of water in my skillet without the seasoning. Once they were cooked, I drained them off and in my pan I added in a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of sesame oil. I sprinkled in some sunflower seeds and some garlic powder and I'm just gonna let those cook for a little bit in the oil and butter. After a few minutes, I threw in a handful of green onions and a good splash of soy sauce. Finally, I added a little bit of rice vinegar and some brown sugar. Then I'm gonna get my noodles back in here and toss them to coat. Since today was a rainy day, we didn't really do much on this day. Right now the boys were playing some video games and Adam took a nap on the couch, so I decided to go get some sewing done. So I just came in here and I figured I had some extra time, since I have nothing to edit or anything. It's a rainy day, it's a good day for sewing, so I cleaned off this table. I went to go get my quilt that I've been wanting to finish. And found this. It looks like someone spilled something on it, or I don't even know. Nobody's been in here. So then I was like, well, maybe the ceiling's leaking? No. I have no idea where this came from, but I'm kind of mad. I wiped part of it off with a baby wipe right here just to see if it would come out, and I think maybe when I wash it it will, but I have no idea what it is. And figures. Like it's something that's soaked through. Or something. I I have no idea. If anybody can figure out what happened to this, <laughs> let me know. I mean, that looks like a water stain or something. And it's all the way through it. It was all stacked on top of each other. 
I don't know what that is. It's not wet. I don't know what it is. There's something all over it. On the entire thing. Yeah. It's even on the bottom too. Yeah. Oh, I just didn't know that. I just didn't okay. show the rest of it. Not yet. I was going to, but should I even bother now? is I can't use my ironing board right now. We plan on switching this room back with the boys room soon. So this is in the way. Can't bring that down. So, so I just put a towel down on the table and I'm going to use that. I only have a couple of rows left to finish. Hopefully the iron doesn't set in whatever this is and it'll still wash off. That's a big Marshall. Garrett, <laughs> say chubby bunny. <laughs> Tucker, say chubby bunny. <laughs> it doesn't even fit in Tucker's mouth. <laughs> Is it Don't good? Don't do that, Garrett. So about a week ago, we were sent this set of pots and pans, and I was super excited to get these. They're so pretty. They're like the hammered copper on the outside. And inside is the vintage looking marbled nonstick coating. This set comes with an 11 inch and nine and a half inch frying pan, two soup pots, two saucepans, and a set of cooking utensils and some oven mitts. So I'm gonna have all of the information down below for you if you guys wanna go check these out. We were so excited to try them. These are made from enameled aluminum. These can be used on electric and gas stoves, as well as glass tops, and induction tops. And they're also oven safe up to 450 degrees. These pans feel sturdy and heavy duty, but they're not the heavy type that'll make your arm tired while you're cooking. So it comes with this little pamphlet that tells you how to take care of these and how to clean them before the first time you use them. So we went ahead and followed the instructions on there and we were excited to use them for dinner tonight.
So in my mixer, I'm making some of our non bread dough. I showed the dinner we made in this video in yesterday's video if you want to go see the Korean beef recipe. But I thought I'd go ahead and show you how we make the non bread. This recipe can be found down in my description box, but into my mixer, I'm adding in two and a half cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna get these all mixed up and then add in the wet ingredients. So next I'm gonna add in my melted butter, my milk, and my sour cream. Once this was all pretty well mixed together, we just kneaded it in the bowl with our hands. Then we covered this with plastic wrap and let it rest for 30 minutes at room temperature. So if you saw yesterday's video, you already saw this recipe, and if you didn't, I'll have it linked down below. But I wanted to include a few shots of this because I wanted to talk a little more about the pots and pans. We think these are really good quality. So far, nothing we have made has stuck to them. Our rice came out perfectly. All of the grease out of the pan was super easy cleanup. And even when we simmered the meat in the sauce, the sauce got thick and sticky, but it didn't stick to the pan. In the instructions, it tells you to use a little bit of oil when you're cooking. But when we made the naan bread, we didn't use any at all, and the dough didn't stick. The only drawback to these, in my opinion, was that they took a little while to get hot. We had to turn our burners up higher than we usually do for it to get to the same temperature. And honestly, I don't know if that's because of the layers of how the heat works in the pan, or if it's because of our stove. So maybe on a gas stove or a glass top, these could work totally differently. I really don't know for sure, and I have no other stove to test them on. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, we just have to get used to cooking with them and turn our temperatures up a little bit. You make what with it? Tacos. You gonna make a taco? So overall, we really love these pans. We think they're really good quality and the nonstick is great. And I also love the way they look. So if you might be looking to buy some new cookware, I'm gonna have the link below down in the description box. And with that link, I'll also leave a discount code. So on this lazy, rainy day, we didn't end up doing much, but I hope you guys enjoyed spending part of our day with us. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, we would love for you to be a part of our YouTube family. So hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications and we'll see you guys in the next one.